All right, so check this now. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. For what I understand, you stopped eating the flesh at 16, right? And you went plant based at 41. What was that? Your own right, no king. <laughs> what was the um, what was the transition like? Because the reason I brought it up is because you're a good person to speak about it. Because even though you were vegetarian, there's still a lot of stuff you would still eat that you don't eat at plant based. And what I notice is that. Um, I look at a vegan thing like I still look at it as like a trend, like a cool thing. And yeah. some people try it, but they don't stay with it. Like, how did you manage to transition from no cheese, no butter to plant based and actually stay with it? And what advice could you give ones to kind of make that transition? And actually, that's what we need. We need people to stay with certain things, you know? Yeah, yeah. I chose to. I just said, I stop the meat, the red meat from uh, 16, you know? I was eating something, I think it was chicken or something, man. I started to look on it and started to look on it different. I wasn't too comfortable with it anymore, you know. And I started to see it as a living entity, you know. And we did feel kind of nauseous. And I said, you know what, this is enough for me, you know. And like how oh, we are stepping on Rastafari liberty too, you know. And Rastafari talk a lot about the fruits and vegetables and the benefits of them. We say, yeah, man, that's the way forward. But we still carry on with the fish for a bit, you know? And carry on with the fish, but we never even that comfortable with the fish because we couldn't eat the head. That's a, <laughs> that a reality. We could have never eat the head, you know? So when we used to go in like a food shop and used to go for the snapper and thing, we said, just chop off the head. So they said, what? You're born in England, Ross? So we said, yeah, 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 you can't. Was Jamaican, they would I eat the head, you know, and thing, but we could I never do it, you know, like the, the fish I look for me, you know, and say, you know, why is it, what's all this for, you know? So it's one of them things. So I'm never too comfortable with it. So we still I carry on with the dairy a little bit, but at the same time, at the same time, may I get gastritis, bad gastritis too. Sometimes I curl up on the bathroom floor. I mean, I know how I go the doctor and say, yeah, gastritis. See something here and grab a scan or whatever they want and give or some other kind of thing. And I start to read about lactose intolerance. And I start to realize that the milk is not for me. The milk is for the cow or for the baby cow. You see what I say? So I stop. I stop the milk. And when I stop the milk now, gastritis disappears. Never have it again in the whole of my life, you know? So I realize uh, that are the right thing for the health reasons, you know? I mean, I even do a lyrics about it. Like, me that say, it was like a revelation. It went, pow! You can get calcium without drinking the milk of a cow. Wow, just from fruit and vegetables. Someone tell me, oh, milk's perfect for a calf from their mother. Nothing else drinks the milk of another. I'm sure you would shudder if you saw someone with their head under a udder. They said I was a nutter. Can me cut out the cheese and butter? But my body said thank you in his own way. It can talk, you know, it can utter. A lot of calcium sauces around here. Sesame seeds, also the cheer. Kale, pap chow, some leafy greens. Baoba, moringa, some kind of beans, figs. Apricots that are dried. They even have fruits that are fortified. Okra, oranges, quinoa too. Get that calcium inside of you. Cow, you can get calcium without drinking the milk of a cow. Wow, just from fruit and vegetable. Maccabi just told you how. Oh. Yes, I am. So, one of them things there, you know, I always make lyrics about my situations. You know? And, and if I, I want to ask you this now, right? All right. So it seemed like 2016, you started the, uh, I don't know if it's like what what you eat or the Medical Mondays, right? What was the vibe fire when you say, you know what, man, I'm just going to start, I'm going to start edifying these people because this is the vibe I like. As an elder, not only are you using uh, a modern platform, you're using social media because what I noticed, people either have disdain for it or they use it for vain reasons, right? In regards to your generation but you you've been able to uh utilize it to actually edify people and at the same time build your brand <laughs> you get what i'm saying and, and expose yeah. 
generation of people that didn't know you about the music. So what was the first idea when he's like, you know what, we just going to start, we just going to try a thing, you know, we just going to start. Cause I saw initially you were just talking, but when did you start rhyming? All right. That's good. If we go back a little bit before then, like about 10 years before then, uh, 10 years from, from now, we did do a tune called Wami Eat. It was a, a very popular tune um, because I was on the vegan trail and when I travel around the world, um, we said to the promoters, I don't eat meat, fish or dairy. It's like they get confused and don't know what to give me, you know, for dinner or nothing, you know. It's things. I mean, a big man, six foot three, double extra large. So them say, I'm not eating grass, you know. I, mean, I eat something. So we decided to do a song just to edify them, you know. And it was a very popular song. It became, people started making memes out of the song because when we talk about the amount of food that you can eat, that vegans can eat, I did it in fast style, you know. Like it, it, it go like, what me eat them? I wonder what me eat. When me tell them, say me no eat no fish or no meat now. How want me eat them? I wonder what me eat. You want you want me eat? I eat kalalu, aki, sweet potato, yam, banana, and tomato, cabbage, spinach, avocado, chocho, butter, bean, and cocoa, quadrate, millet, plantain, rice and peas and pumpkin, mango, dates and guava, chickpeas and cassava, brussels sprouts and cauliflower, onion, fennel and cucumber, plum, pea and papaya, aubergine and sire, lime, lentils and quinoa, homey bread and homey flour, watercress and okra, tofu and sweet pepper, couscous and carrot, broccoli and coconut, peaches, apples, apricot, breadfruit, jackal, sour sap, pistachio, oak, shoes and warmer, walnut, peanuts, also pecan, sesame seeds, sunflower, lemon, orange, pineapple and melon, bogo wheat and garlic, hijiki and racket, so one family granny, kiwi corn and turnip, berries, cherries and strawberries, beetle, grapefruit and celery. You see the meat not necessary. So me do that, right? And it was very popular. So some of the vegan sites like Peta and all them, you know, them start support me enough. So in a 2017 now, after we do the certain things, my reason with me youth them, because we have some big children, you know, and them said, dad, they want me to tune it up. Good pan social media. You want to step in it a little bit more, you know? So I say, all right, we have the we have the Instagram already and we have the Facebook and we have a few followers. Like we start a thing. So as you say, I say, all right, make we could do a medical Monday informing people about the benefits of fruits and vegetables and a what we eat Wednesday as well. So when we start the medical Monday, as you rightly say, we just attack. Just I talk to the people them and say, well, this fruit has this and it's anti-inflammatory, it's got antioxidants and this and that and and the post them do well. And I say, yeah, something I go on. And the youth them say, yeah, you see that? Something I go on. But one night, me go on my bed and I wake up in the morning because I'm an early riser, you know. Sometimes at four o'clock I rise with, with the birds, you know. So them time there, a good meditation time, you know. Uh, just you and the universe, you know. There's no noise, no mix up. So I get a vibe to say, let me do it in a Maccabee style and see what happens. With reading my rhyme, maybe drop a little bit of humor in it and see what happens. So I do one and it get like a million views. And I say, what? I want to something here, so something I go on. So I do another one and it get a couple million more. And then I do the cucumber and the place go mad. Hundreds of millions of views, you know, hundreds and hundreds and millions of views. People start sharing too. They don't know nothing about Maccabee. They don't even know nothing about reggae music. People start share, share, share all over the world. Like there, people like Naomi Campbell. Yeah, people like Naomi Campbell. <laughs> Beyonce, mother say it bad. And Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, same love it. And you, you see me, I say. So it was a great thing, you know. A reality there, I talk to you know, because them time the, the thing I go viral for two man. If every WhatsApp, if WhatsApp, if we are cited to be true, you know, like they are talking. And the way me, the way me tune card, you see the first time I hear it, yeah. I, hear it, I think I play, I played for somebody, you know, I played for somebody, and then I tell them about, tell them about the same exact situation where they are doing you know, because you're more fine with meat eaters now. Them always I wonder where you eat, but yes, still, them have the them, them not have much variety. Hey. Because if, <laughs> Because yes, sir. I'm not gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat all chicken five five times for the week. But I'm gonna eat Seven. brown stew, curry, fry. I'm gonna do some other roast beef. But I'm gonna tell the same variety, and I'm not really realize that. So I realize, realize the importance of macabre itself, like the, the the words where I come from there, and the education and the thing. Because education, 
and entertainment it, are the same thing, you know. Yes, because sir. originally entertainment was educational, you know. So you see that they put the real and true meaning in that, you know. I can tell that, that direct, direct, you know, and that is where it's supposed to be. So I maximum respect to the eye for that. Now, big yeah, time, man, the, the, man reach, the, the man reach more people than any nutritionist out there. <laughs> I tell you, no, I tell you the truth. You see, we see some posts where some people who post it, them, them put something like, say, I will never, ever be a vegan. And they say, but this is a vegan that me I listen to. True. And he might make me eat more fruits and vegetables and things. So even if that happened, we have to give thanks for that as well, you know? Because part of the revolution. Now. The works for you. And one of the things why we do it is because there's too much illness in the community, which is reversible. Just from the food, you see me, I say, like in two years ago when we do it, like we go a funeral, too much funeral, too much funeral, you know, and it's the same kind of things. I mean, I said, boy, I have to try to edify the community, you know. So we give thanks that people gravitate towards it and it'll help the young people too. We give thanks a lot of young people into it, you know, because we get messages from mothers who say, Maccabi, we love you, you know. You make a youth them start eat greens and cucumber and kale and all them something there for the first time and love it and enjoy it, you know. So we just said we give thanks for the energy, you know. And and fire, like, all right, you 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 brought it up in regards to um funerals and stuff. Like, what do you think is the biggest people's biggest struggle with changing their eating habits and changing their lifestyle? Yes. They might sometimes have a bone taste, you know. I feel the sugar and the salt of them is addictive, you know. You see me, I say the sugar and the salt and the meat and what they put into the meat, you know, is very addictive. And that are them problem, you know. Because I mean, you know, some people, them say, them now nah, stop the chicken, you know. That are the thing, you know. Like, you know, say pork, me do a tune called the chicken. Maybe you know the tune still. Me do a tune called the chicken. But I tell me, bridging them, what going at the chicken and the things about the chicken. And they must say, boy, I'm not be the chicken. I forgot to kill me, you know. Because I nah, stop the chicken. You see me, I say, then, then stop the pork, then stop the beef, then stop the mutton, then stop everything. But the chicken, like why in I chicken, make them can't stop the chicken, you know? So, I find that people have to take it one day at a time. Some people different. Some people can just stop straight. You see me, I say, it's like with smoking cigarettes, some people can just stop straight. And some people have to take time and do it, you know? So, I say with people, even take one less of the meat or whatever. You know, and increase it with vegetable, you know, and just try it like that first, you know. And even some of who are some of the transition, you know, the mafia have them, them, them mac meats and all them something, there, you know. It's not the ultimate, you know, but some people maybe they need it for transition, you know. And if it really make them reach them goal, I'm not going to burn them out. You see, me I say, because they reach them goal and every man do them thing different, you know. So, I say with people, you have, to, you have to really research the thing, you know, the food where you eat, research what you're eating. You see me, I say, because enough people, them, them can't go in the place, they can't go in the abattoir, you know, and see the, see the meat when it get killed and everything. They can't do it, you know. They will never eat nothing again like that. You see me, I say, or even kill the meat themselves. And that's why I call them accomplice to murder. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Imagine the animals them who really eat meat. Can I mean I feel say so human make for eat meat, but the animals them who really eat meat. When them see a dead animal, you know, enough for cook and nothing and package up. You know, the blood and everything could have run out of it. Them just run to it. But you say people, if them run down, if them drive down the road and then run over a chicken or a cow, them now say, boy, I'm a dinner this. You know, some will be horrified and run away from it. And but uh, animal who eat meat, they're not gonna do that still. So it's not a natural reaction. So people now do them natural reactions. You know, that's why it have to put vegetable seasoning on it. Cause they not eat it raw neither. And the vegetable they might eat, you know, <laughs> camouflage. You know. <laughs> yeah, they were secondary, a secondary vegetarian. Them no, them no want go primary. So they eat it. Them <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> Far how you how you side up the smoking herbs? So. Yeah, I'm a everybody eating at the nation still, you know, but I just coconut chalice me you know. So and definitely no cigarettes, you know, cause that, that applies, you know. We I mean, I put that in our body still, but the herb, you know, and medicine, you know, in many different ways, you know. So whether it, whether it's smoking or the C B D oil or whatever, you know, and medicine is a herb, you know. 
given to us by the Almighty, you know. So who is man to, to ban what is given to us by the Almighty, you know? Some people misuse it and add all kinds of things to it and chemical and everything, but that not make that not make the herb a bad thing itself, you know. They make them who are put that a bad thing, you know. So yeah, man, everybody healing at the nation. We never fight against the herb, never, no waste. Well, let me hear you say, man.